this is this week's tiara and this one is um doctor who based on um the gallifreyan language it actually says tiara on the front and here is the sides you can see all that sparkle the other side <clears throat> and this one in the giveaway this week for Consolation, or I guess last week, the tiara was blue and everybody's really getting excited about blue tiaras. And so when I was thinking up ideas for this week, I thought, oh, you know, I should do a blue tiara. And I've been wanting to play with um, something like this in a Doctor Who style, but I didn't actually want to put the... Um, thing that people usually see with Doctor Who pieces and I thought the language was so nice and clean and stylized that it would make a great piece and what's what's better than having a tiara that says tiara right on the front of it so that's where I kind of came up with the idea so I asked some of my friends online for um, how to write tiara and this is what they sent me so this was actually a bunch of attempts to make this. Here's one. I think this is the second attempt. And this is a much bigger piece, of course. But I, as an artist, I usually work in alcohol ink. So what this is, is Yupo paper that I have. Um, the final piece was the alcohol ink that I put down with some alcohol and moved it around with a straw. And then... What I did in the last one is I then sprayed that with a fixative and then went through and drew pencil lines. So this was the second attempt and you can kind of see, whoops, the pencil lines like right there in the piece. So this was actually, the pencil was drawn beforehand. So what I did was I went and I sprayed it and then I put the white pencil down and it wasn't dark enough, so I then went over on silver on the whole thing, so you get a little bit better read of it. And then I asked if I could put crystals, because of course it's a tiara, so it needs some bling. So I put crystals in the spots where the dots were, and attached it to this bigger gold. It's more of a bronze piece, really. Um, and then added the blue crystals, and these are a lighter blue crystal as well on the top. And then I, I actually used alcohol ink to paint these so that they were a darker blue. They were kind of a light blue at first. And then this, I was trying to get keep geometric shapes in here. So these are actually um, three hexagons that are, they have a, um, see if you can see it from the back. It's got an iridescent paper on the back that I then put UV resin on. And then I added these flakes, which um, give it some more interest. These I think I just got from Sophie and Toffee. But then I put the crystals on top. Those blues kind of get lost in there. And then just so that I could hide, well, then I put these rings here. So everything has been wired on except the round circles at the top so it's been wired on around here sorry and all the circles have been wired on the big circle the crystals um, and then the hexagons were attached the circles the smaller circles were attached and of course to cover up all the wire work i added um, beads all along here in blues whites and blacks to go with the whole piece itself. So I liked the circle, but I thought it needed some more interest at the top. So I added these um, these circles at the top as well, and then added the crystals to give it extra interest. I mean, I might have added yet another crystal or a circle around here and another crystal so it matched the top, but I kind of like it when the top is a little bit blingier than the rest. So this is it, this is the whole piece for this week. You can see the back again. Glue, wiring, 
This is wired together, and then this is glued on the front. And these are wired on like I normally do, the crisscross shape on the front. And that's the piece this week. Thanks.